Hey everyone, how's it going? I'm Leon. In this video, I wanted to share with you all three of the craziest UberX pickup and drop offs I've done. And uh, I'm sure for those that have done this uh, type of work, the ride share work, you meet a lot of really interesting people. So the first one was where I picked up a, um, it was three people I picked up. It was from a local bar. I'm not going to say what. I'm going to leave everything very vague, of course. But what happened was there was a high school reunion. And uh, it was a guy, his girlfriend, and one of his friends. So I picked them up. I spoke to all of them. And the girlfriend was, she just was very um, quiet. Almost like she was either scared or I, I don't know what was going on. But the more I started to kind of like pay attention I realized she was so drunk. She literally probably couldn't even hear me. <laughs> she was so so up. And it was where like she was really like out of it. And uh, what happened was that uh cuz we didn't have to go very far as by about by, by 5 minutes away. She had to of course uh throw up. <laughs> so I had to pull over in one of the parking lots at, at a store. And she couldn't get out the car, so she quite literally threw up on the outside of my car. Because uh, I said, hey, like, throw up. As long as you don't throw up in my car, we okay. <laughs> so she threw up literally outside of my car. And the guy was so, like, the boyfriend was, like, so freaking, like, mad. And he was just like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm like, dude, it's okay. As long as she didn't throw up in my car, it's fine. <laughs> He was so apologetic, so he, he he like gave me a good tip, and he called me back. He kept calling me because I guess he was really worried about losing his account. And I was like, "Dude, it's okay. Like as long as it's not in my car, we're we're fine." So, uh, because uh, what happened was that the girlfriend she was very very apologetic after I guess she sobered up, <laughs> but she was very <laughs> just she was very drunk. I could tell. <laughs> so that's the first one. The second one was a crazy one. I'm not going to go into detail, but um, long story short, I had two people fight in my car. They literally had a fight. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> so <laughs> I had to drop somebody off outside my car because they were fighting. And I had to drop the person back off to the um, to where I dropped them off at. It wasn't a good experience. Very, very scary, to be honest with you. And I, I just kind of was like, whatever. I'm not going to say nothing. They obviously were having some issues. Uh, I'm going to say this. Um, you, you're not supposed to embarrass people in the car with strangers. I feel like that's very disrespectful. And that's kind of what happened where something was said very disrespectfully. And it should have been said in private. But some people, they're very like weird they they kind of like they, they, they try to shame people in a public setting and i think that's very cowardly and disrespectful but that's what basically happened and they had a big argument it was very crazy so that was a crazy one very awkward i was like uh yeah i don't i don't i don't want y'all in my car no more this is this is crazy <laughs> and the third one is even crazier so the third one i'm not gonna get into detail i'm not but i had to drive about about 40 minutes to go pick somebody up and guess what that person got arrested so that person was going home they got arrested and i had to go pick them up their uh parent called and they had to uh bail them out of jail now i'm not going to say what the person did or what happened i'm not going to go into that but yeah i had to go pick them up in jail and I'm going to say this, the, the, the jailhouse that I picked them up from, it's like literally a treasure, <laughs> like a treasure map. <laughs> it's where it it's not the address that I looked up is not correct at all. Like the GPS, it doesn't know where this place is. It's like off to the side, some random weird street somewhere. And I had to pick them up because, uh, like I said, one of their parents bailed them out. I had to drive him home. I had to have a whole conversation with him. And he's very uh, nonchalant about it for some reason. I don't know why he was. I was like, yeah, man, you you really shouldn't be nonchalant about that. <laughs> so, yeah, I was like, okay. <laughs> so, 
so that was that was an interesting one right there and, and I had to, I had to um had to help him out with some but it's fine um I'm glad I, I was able to help him out and get him where he needed to go so it's very interesting oh I do like doing this I'm almost to 600 rides uh I think I started what back in I think August I think so it was I've been doing this for a little while I definitely like doing it. I get definitely get a chance to meet a lot of different people um and so far it's really enjoyable the interactions are very fun you get a chance to kind of see where everybody is and you get to see all the different types of people and a lot of these people they have this really funny <laughs> uh drunk confidence it's <laughs> very interesting <laughs> so yeah uh but yeah if you have any stories that you want to share let me know in the comment section we can definitely uh chop it up and when i have some more stories i'll let you know uh you have a blessed day and hopefully you found the video helpful if you did leave a like um like i said share a comment or a story that you have as a driver and you have a blessed day you take care